Hey folks, Robert Mercado, and I wanted to go over step-by-step -step how to install your Facebook Retargeter WordPress plugin. Now, if you're watching this within the plugin itself and you are looking on how to utilize this, we're going to go over that in just a moment. If you're watching this video from inside our training area, uh, expect to receive an email with your download key, with your URL download link uh, in order to download the plugin. And I'm going to share with you from that step. So we're going to start with uh, receiving the email, right, with the uh, download instructions. I put my uh, link and serial key and all that information here on a notepad uh, for easier purpose, you know, just demonstration purposes. Uh, again, you're going to receive that in your email, uh, whether it's your regular email or your PayPal email. Check both uh, or, the, or the spam boxes as well. Uh, now, once you have that, what you're going to do is you're going to take the link that you were given in that email and you can simply click on it. I'm actually going to type it in here because I have it here as notes. What it's going to do is it's going to download, as you see in the bottom left corner, it's going to download your WordPress uh, Facebook Retargeter plugin. So that's going to be in your downloads folder or wherever it's default to download to. I'm going to click open. What it's going to do, it's going to open up the folder that it downloaded into, right? So we have the unzipped version and then the zipped version. What you're going to then do is you're going to log into your back office of your site. So the whole point of having your own, having your plugin for Facebook Retargeter is so that you can actually market and your ads on the news feeds will show up with your link on the bottom. So robertmercado.com or yourname.com or yourwebsite.com. So what you have to do is you have to log in the back office of your domain. So I'm going to log into the back office of Facebook Retargeter, which where I'm going to demonstrate on how to install it. Uh, I would click login, right? Usually it's your site.com forward slash WP dash admin, right? That's your admin settings and where you can uh, set everything up. And, and this is what it looks like when you get inside. Now, once you're inside, you're going to go down to the plugins section, right? That's where you want to go. You want to go to plugins. Going to wait a second for that to load. And once that loads, uh, obviously you're going to see the plugins that you currently have on that site. What you're going to simply do is click on add new. Okay. That's what you're going to do is you're going to click on add new. Now what you simply want to do is click on upload. Okay. Once you click on upload, it's going to bring up this window and you're going to click on choose file. Okay. You're going to look for that folder or that file that you downloaded and you want to select the .zip file. Okay. Not the regular unzip file. Uh, you want to select the .zip file. So you're going to click on open and then click on install now. Now that's going to take a few seconds. That's going to install and uh, there it goes. So what you're going to do next after it finishes installing, you're going to get the option activate plugin, return to plugins page. You're going to click on activate plugin. Once you activate it, folks, on the left side over here, you're going to see that it appears, which what happened right here, right? Now we have a Facebook retargeter plugin. This is where all your plugins would be uh, listed. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go down to the Facebook retargeter. We're going to click on that and it's going to open up this, my Facebook retargeter install. Now what you're going to do next is you're going to click on add. Okay. Now it's going to ask for your information, your download key, your email address, uh, your Facebook retargeter license key, and then a prefix. And I'm going to go over with you what that is. So I'm going to go over to my document here that I have, and I have it all ready. So I'm going to type in my download key, right? Hopefully I have all this information correct. Okay. Make sure there's no spaces at the end of the key. Sometimes that does make a difference. Another thing you want to make sure of is when you're actually putting in your email address, you want to make sure it is the same exact as how you typed it when you uh, purchase your plugin because it does go by like if, if I typed in my email with a lowercase r in, instead of a capital R that makes a difference we'll actually update it so that it would wouldn't take that in consideration but right now uh, it is case sensitive and then for your prefix what is that that's just going to be what you want at the end of your site so robertmercado.com forward slash start or facebookretargeter.com in this example forward slash uh, let's just do go Okay, it could be anything, uh, something short, something, you know, simple. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on add. Okay. Now, if you put in all your correct information, that's what's going to happen. It's going to tell you what the next step is, and it's going to 
uh, automatically direct you over to the Facebook retargeter back office. Now, the reason why it does that is because with our plugin, the way we have it installed is very simple. It's a set and forget type of thing where you have it installed and now you're gonna use your Facebook retargeter back office to create your retargeting pixels and your audiences, right? Um, now, with that being said, if you do get an error on that previous page that we were on, uh, and it says, you know, invalid email address or invalid, um, you know, key, then what you want to do is you want to check back on the key again and make sure you're putting in the right one, right? You have a download key and you have a Facebook retargeter license key, which is what you originally got when you first purchased Facebook retargeter. Okay. Hope that makes sense. And again, you can rewind, you know, and pause this video and then continue uh, or rewatch it. Now we're here in the back office now, which it automatically redirected us there. And we have the same setup, but now you'll notice that your domain is a choice in the domain list. Now you can still, you know, select any of the other domains we have here, but the main reason you purchased the plugin is because you want to use your own domain, right? So you could see here your domains and Facebook retargeter domains. Uh, so we're going to click on our domain, right? Facebookretargeter.com forward slash go, the one we just installed. And you're going to do the same thing, folks. So you're going to create a, a, a retargeting audience name. I'm going to just do uh, FBR test. Okay, you can name it whatever you like. Then you're going to paste your targeting pixel. So I'm going to get Facebook pixel here. We made this button to make it very easy for you. Click on that. It's going to open up your audiences, your ads manager. And again, if you don't go to this page, if it doesn't take you to this page, that just means you don't have an advertisement uh, account with Facebook open yet. So all you want to do is go to facebook.com forward slash ads. Again, facebook.com forward slash ads ads. Now, once you're in this page, you're going to click on create audience in the top right corner. Then you're going to click on custom audience from your website. Now, some of you folks have told us that when you click on this, it doesn't bring you anywhere on the next page. What I would encourage you to do is make sure you're using the Chrome browser and also turn off your pop-up blockers. We've had some people that turned off their pop-up blockers and for whatever reason that uh, resolved the issue. If it does work properly, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna click on custom audience from your website. It's gonna open up this window next. You're gonna name it. I'm just gonna keep it the same name, FBR test. Description, you don't have to, it's just optional so that when you have your audiences, you can know what it's about. And um, I'm just gonna put um, uh, video uh, tutorial test video tutorial test, okay? Um, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on view custom audience pixel. You're gonna click on it once and then you're gonna control C or command C or you can right click on it and hit copy. You're gonna go back to your Facebook retargeter back office here and you're gonna simply paste it. Control V if you're on a PC, command V if you're on a Mac and right click if, you, if that's easier for you and you could just hit paste. We have the domain we want now the landing page that we're going to choose is the page we want it to go to. So let's say we wanted it to go to the main site uh, or I want it to go to my, uh, my site, right? The robertmercado.com, right? I tried to get robertmercado.com. It was already taken. Uh, just a quick side note. If you actually are really serious about working online, which of course you are, if you're here, uh, purchase your, your name, your name domain. So really quick, you know, go grab at GoDaddy or whatever. See if it's available, yourname.com, because that's just good for marketing. Uh, so anyway, you're going to click on Generate URL. Okay. And then within seconds, it, down, it generated a URL. I'm going to click this button right here just to copy it to clipboard. Now, when I go to that site or anyone goes to that site, it should go to the robertmercado.com, but now it's being retargeted. So all the visitors are being added to my Facebook audience. Now, before we go too far, we want to complete what we did here in the Facebook ad. So you're just going to click right back on your Facebook tab and you're actually going to, uh, for website traffic, you can leave it on all website visitors. If you're utilizing like an affiliate link uh, or a specific page within that website, you can post it here. Uh, otherwise, all website visitors is fine. Um, now, what you're going to do is save for the amount of days. I always put it for the 180, just so that that's the max that you can put it for. So what you're going to do next is you're going to click on create. 
and then it'll say thank you for creating a custom audience. Your audience is ready. You're going to click OK. And that's it, folks. Now, keep in mind, Facebook doesn't update as frequently as we'd like them to. Uh, so you, you may be getting a lot of visitors to your site and you're not seeing them here reflect. Don't worry, they are still being added to that list. Uh, it may take a day or two for it to update here on Facebook. So what we did is when you go to your Facebook retargeter links in your Facebook retargeter back office, we have put your unique clicks and your total clicks. So you can know more or less or exact uh, how many people are added to your retargeting list. Folks, this is how you install your plugin. Again, uh, you know, if you wanted to add another uh, URL, let's say another prefix, I'm just going to go right back into the back office for facebookretargeter.com. And I'm going to show you really quick. Once you log in, you click on Facebook Retargeter, your plugin. If you wanted to add another one, another prefix, you would just click on add. Now, if you have a copy of the plugin that works for three domains, you can utilize it for, let's say, three of your websites, facebookretargeter.com, robertmercado.com, or, you know, the Robert Mercado, whatever it is, whatever your site, your site.com, your domain.com, whatever it is, you can utilize it for three different domains. And if you have the unlimited version, you can utilize it for unlimited amount of domains. So what I'm going to do really quick, I'm just going to actually enter in this information again. And I want to, let's say you wanted to create, excuse me, another name for your site as far as not having the go at the end for the prefix. So what you would do, and I'd save this information on the side in case you ever want, and, and possibly we'll, we'll have it where it, you don't have to re-enter this information. But let's say I wanted to do start now, right? So it'll be facebookretargeter.com forward slash start. So I put in all my information, I hit add, and boom, there it goes. It'll add it and it'll redirect you in an instant to the site of the back office. And then you'll see your domain here. You see facebookretargeter.com forward slash start. You can create as many as you like with a plugin that works for one domain. Uh, or like I said, you can purchase your plugin to work with three domains or unlimited. You just click here in the back office, WordPress plugin. And obviously when you saw this, if you didn't purchase your plugin already and you're watching this video, this is how you would do it. And you got the seven bucks for the one domain, the 19 bucks for the three and the 47 bucks for the unlimited. These prices may increase. Um, so I definitely encourage you to grab yours. Uh, and uh, we wanted to make it affordable for everyone. So we appreciate you. Uh, folks, this is exactly how you install your WordPress plugin and start putting it to use. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care, and I appreciate you.